ice truck. Gentlemen, this is what we're going to do today. We're going to be bird hunting. Now, we got pointers that are going to be working on the on the ground in front of us. Okay, the dogs are going to go on point. We want to keep everybody in a line so that one, we don't ring people's ears. Two, we know where everybody is. We prefer break open guns. That way, when the dogs are running, you can keep shells in it, but keep the gun open. Okay, it, you cannot kill somebody with an open gun. When the dogs go on point, close the gun. The safety's still on. Okay, we want the gun barrels up. Because everything's happening with the dogs is on the ground in front of us. There'll be three of us shooting today, so we expect you to follow gentleman rules. The guy in the middle, he gets the middle third. The guy on each side, you know, he gets what's in front of him, and to his right or to his left depends on which side he is. Let's make sure of a safe shot. We'll have plenty of shooting. Just everybody, let's be safe. That's the most important thing. Don't worry about the bird. We can find another one. Before we get started, we got. else like to wear a competitor's hat? <laughs> <laughs> we would like to present you with a proper hat. <laughs> he said, that's what you get for wearing at my lodge. <laughs> would you like your hat back? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> That one doesn't have any scratches on it. None. None. They still them guns down in front. That is pretty though, isn't it? Mm -hmm. When you hunting, when you hunting with me, it, the way I shoot, you got to break the best out to win. Oh. And that's what he's doing. That sounds like a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna be on the right side. You got everything in front of you, and you got everything to the right. Okay. Okay. Got people behind us. Don't spin around. Got it. If you shoot a bird down, watch where he falls. The ones that you miss, tell me where they go. Okay. Everybody got that? Whoa, Matt. I didn't think he did. Yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> Everybody ready? Heel. Take him up. Yeah. Yeah, man. Get him. Start down. We got a point. Over here. All right, I'm coming. I'm going to right over in that oak. Don't shoot the good looking guy in the thicket. Shit, hey. Where is it? Get him, man. Oh! Don't shoot the cameraman. <laughs> I hear you, Scooter. You ready? Dead in your hand. Come over the top. Bird, bird. Coming back over. Y'all ready? 
Stay in your hand. 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 Stay Oh, oh! Dang if you didn't oh, hit him, dog. So, so you mean that bird I told him was dead by the bottom of the cedar tree? Uh, I supposedly missed. Oh, Sit. what did the ham find over there for me? Oh, that's called oh, kill him again. <laughs> <laughs> kill him again. Hey. hey, kill him dead this time. Dead, him. Pick him up. Picked up two right here. That was both mine. I dropped both of them right side by side. Hey, outstanding. Dinner here. Yeah. I could attest to that one. Load up, load up, load up. Oh, I missed that second. Dang it. There's actually about 10 birds in that covey. I mean, just right in front of us, they were in a thicket. They got up, everybody got to shoot. But uh, I think I'm the only one that hit one. I'm not gonna brag just yet. Right now we're using, uh, we've got two pointers on the ground. One of them's an English pointer. It's much bigger, much heavier dog. And then we also run LH pointers. They're a smaller dog. They were, uh, and they were bred for foot hunting. We also use a flush dog here. For one, that keeps the hunters back, lets them have a better shot at it. When the pointing dogs point, We'll release the flushing dog, flush the birds. That lets me as a guide keep an eye on, stay further back and keep an eye on what birds are shot and where the singles go that are left. We put a dog, the flush dog, right in there on top of the birds. It gives you a better covey rise. The birds get up higher, makes everything safer, and uh, makes the hunt more enjoyable. Well, you start off by looking how much chase does he have. If he enjoys what he's doing, then he'll make a pretty good dog, and then you you got to teach him a little pace and a little coverage. You hear people talk about them quarter and back and forth mm -hmm. in front of you. That way they're not hunting beyond you or behind you. And then the pace is, if he runs like a racehorse for the first 30 minutes, then after about an hour, he's wasted. <laughs> so if you got pace and quarter and, and he likes the chase of the game, you make a dog. All you gotta do is put him in birds. I can promise you, buddy. If you're not number one, you're close to it. I mean, this is this has been enjoyable. These birds are just as wild as can be. Well, thank you, sir. Um, I'm sorry about Todd. Uh, <laughs> my shooting's a little better, but uh, uh, the dogs and the guys are doing the job. He still got the same handful of shell he started with this morning. Well, I just want to throw that in while I can. <laughs> All right, gentlemen, we got a point over here. Get in there, man. Come on! I love this guy. Get him up, man. Whoa. Dead in there, man. Dead. Come on, move on around, Ty. Move on around, Ty. Dead. It's just a briar. It won't hurt long, son. This quail hunt's easy, man. <laughs> Dead in your hand. Dead in your hand. Pick him up. I'm oh, glad oh. we got that on two cameras. Ah. Did you oh, see that? Let me hear about the, the sun. You're shooting that way. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Yeah. You're now living in for me. Mm. <laughs> yeah, but you don't understand. I got good editors. They'll cut that out. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, no. no. <laughs> there is no way. All right, Burnt Lodge, of course, we've been quail hunting today. We offer quail hunts. We offer uh, half day, all day, and then multiple day. That's during the hunting season. We also offer deer hunts. It's a wonderful experience with a, uh, a family environment, so a place that they can come and relax then sit on the porch if they want to, um, take a walk, hunt. Um, fish, shoot skeet, um, just enjoy being outdoors or enjoy being with um, friends and family. Our whole day hunts include, as far as the bird hunts, uh, June we eat breakfast around 8 o'clock in the morning, they get you three hours of hunting in the morning, uh, a full lunch, 
and then three hours of hunting in the evening. And then we'll have um, a dinner for them that night and spend the night and then do it all over again the next day. We have four rooms with um, two double beds and a private bath in each room so that we can service eight hunters or um, we do women's retreats or Bible studies or different things. In the off season we do corporate venues, corporate parties. We have a conference room, conference facility. Our, uh, our dining facility handles 32. Conference facility handles about the same. We do weddings, we do wedding receptions, um, engagement parties, rehearsal dinners, um, company picnics. You know, corporate retreats, weekend getaways, uh, Mississippi State football games or athletic events, we do bed and breakfast as well for that stuff. So like I said, if you need us, we're here. Get him. Get him, Bear. Somebody get there you go. Is that what you wanted, Jack? Nice hey, shot, Randy. Hey, hey. hey. <laughs> nice shot, Randy. That was excellent shooting, Mr. Todd. <laughs> Tell me a little bit how you practiced and prepared for this quail hunt. I start off in dove season in September. Then I move off into uh, ducks. And then after duck season, you're on. Can't help us. So again. you're telling me by the time that you miss all the doves and miss all the ducks, I've got, you're I've ready got, for I've, quail I've season. got my lead. Good deal. <laughs> got his lead. Show this one. <laughs> I got me a tree limb. I wish I did that limb off right there. <laughs> So Jack, tell us about your property here since you bought it. What are your management tools you've been using? All right, now this area we're in here is a, is a naturally regenerated pine plantation. It was a seed tree that was, they never came back, uh, the previous landowners and thinned it out. So what we did was we came in um, and just cut corridors through it. And then two years later, after we'd allowed those, those trees that were remaining to put down a better root source, stand up better to wind throw, we came in and we thinned it down. We thin our pines to like this, typically back to about a 35 basal area. And then we'll, uh, we instrument burning and spraying. Uh, a lot of times, it depends on what's there. This stand that we're in right now, we came in and sprayed it the, the spring after the, the final thinning, and then it's on a two-year burn rotation. And so you can, you can kind of look around and see the native grass has come back. None of this was planted. This just came back naturally after we sprayed and burned. We'll burn this one this year, and then the, the track that's north of here, we'll burn, we burned it last year, so it'll burn next year. And what that does is that keeps us from burning all the habitat up and lets us have uh, adequate cover and nest sites for the quail and also for the turkeys. Uh, the deer that come out here and lay in the wintertime, get out of the wind and stuff, is, is phenomenal. If you look around, like I said, it look, it's a good looking stand. Beautiful. Thanks, sir. Let's Beautiful quail habitat. Let's find a bird. Get him, bear. Bird down. Get him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Now turn loose. What was this? <laughs> uh. You got that one. See that, Todd? That's how you can tell when a man is a good shooter. He centers the bird with a pattern. Don't have to worry about a wounded bird. We've got a good, clean kill to pick up. 80 yards. Yeah, but I like table fan. I shoot him in the head. Kill one. But did you notice there went a big puff of feathers? That's because you almost missed it. <laughs> Maybe that bird here looks like it is head Look, shot. Clean shot. Straight in the head. <laughs> that dog bit the head on that bird. <laughs> Great tail fair, not a BB in the body. <laughs> oh, I grew up in it, Denny. Was a big bird hunter, and uh, in the evenings after school, I'd run the bird dogs. And uh, so I reckon from the time I could carry a gun, I've been bird hunting. The the habitat and everything went away over the years, and the places you could go, 
got thinner and thinner and thinner, so I decided I said I really need a place to bird hunt when I retired. So that's what I did. So when you bird hunting, you socialize. You don't have to sit real quiet and all the above. You hunt at your own pace. A lot of people hunt too fast. A lot of people hunt too slow. But if it suits them, that's fine. Get him, bear. Five, six birds. Get him, bear. A lot of birds, huh? Get him, get him, get him, get him. There you go, there you go, there you go. Coming back. Coming back, huh? Catch it. Oh. Last bird of the day. Great hunt. Great hunt. What a wonderful time we've had today here at Burn Oak. The weather's warming up, the dogs are getting hot and tired, and we're getting hungry. It's time for lunch. Did you know that money spent on a Mississippi hunting and fishing license is just like an investment? The Mississippi Department of Wildlife, Fisheries and Parks uses money from license sales to enhance hunting and fishing, like providing public hunting opportunities on wildlife management areas, advising private landowners on deer and habitat management, providing public fishing opportunities on state lakes, and operating fish hatcheries for stocking public lakes and streams. So make an investment in the great outdoors. Buy your Mississippi hunting and fishing license today. Beautiful afternoon. We're going to try and do an afternoon falling tide fish. I got David Fayard with me today. He's going to be my, my deck man on these blackfish today. He said he's got a technique that'll do it, right? We're going to try them, see if we can't get a couple. Um, blackfish is always a bonus fish. Uh, most of the time we, we say we're going to run them on the way back in from trout fishing, and we're usually too tired of fishing, we just cut, we run them by them. But today we're going to take a couple hours before we actually go to trout fish and see if we can find y'all a few blackfish today. <laughs> Your blackfish love structure. Anything floating like these buoys behind us here, we're going to try that little buoy. We got some more buoys over here to the left. We're going to try the lighthouse. Ease up, I'll get on the other side a little bit. There's something over there. There's some bait that's looking right there. Somebody home. Nobody was home. Mm -hmm. I mean, there won't be one at the next one. Or the next one. Or the next one. We ran 100 crab traps and 40 buoys, 20 poles, and no avail. So we're going back when we do what we can do on trout fishing. We're pulling in on these numbers right here. And there's nobody in my spot today. So pass it up. We didn't find anything on the triple tails. Um, they, they're really hard under pressure this time of year from everybody. So what we're going to do is we're going to switch over and do what we do best, trout fish. Um, we, we're going to pull in here on these numbers. These numbers have been really good over the last couple weeks for us. All right, what we have here is the first trout of the day. Nice male trout, long and skinny, long and skinny. I can't find a net right here on this side. I got it. All right. Ooh, that's pretty already in there. Ooh, oh, that one come up. That one came up. 
The fix and turn He's on. The, oh, yeah, they turn it on right now. You got now. that one. You want me to net him? Oh, he's a little hunky. See how big he is. He's coming on with the boat. Let's see if we can just flip him on in here. Ooh, I don't know. Let me get him. <laughs> just be sure. Get yourself back in that net. Beautiful trout. Nice, good, healthy fish. Here we go. Come on, he's coming to the boat now. He's coming to the boat. He's giving up. He's just coming to the boat. That's a nice trout. That's a runner. Come on up in there. Right what? He wanted to go he on wanted in this him. boat. <laughs> I mean, he, as soon as I hooked this fish, he did not stop running to the boat one time. He committed suicide. Oh. Yep, your buddy's in the cooler. And then we we'll go hook him. We got him that go. time. Nice trout, nice trout. Oh, yeah. Come on, get back in that net. Wow. Now, David, that thing didn't even hit the water that time, did it? Mm -mm. Let him run with it a little bit. Now we got another one who wants to go home with us. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nice trout. All right, here, ooh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Let's see what we got here. He's coming to the boat hot and heavy, hot and heavy, hot and heavy, hot and heavy. <laughs> no, our, our bite today is, 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 is not as fast and as furious as we want, but we're catching quality fish. You know, if you only, if you catch one every five to ten minutes, that's what you want. All right, here's one more for the cooler. Let's go, let's go ahead and put him up here. All right. Pretty fish, pretty fish. I'll do that again. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, this is a good one here. Just look at that bird. That fish hitting right here. Look at, oh, that's you. Yeah. <laughs> Not quite as big as the last couple we had, but hey, trout, yellow mount. Beautiful fish, about 16 inches. Great table fare. Chunking that plastic out there, and I just stuck this in the rod holder. And that's what I came up with. Huh. An old blind sow finds a nature every once in a while. Look at that. Now, David, I got another bottom rig right here. <laughs> you can, you can. I'm going to have to try yeah. it here in a minute. So that one leaning in the corner right there. All right, let me throw this one out. I got it baited up. Look at that. I a, oh, I had a white child. He came. Ooh, that is a fine that's one a, there, that's David. That's the biggest one I've caught in a long time. We might be uh, doing a little cut bait here in a second. A box full of these would be nice. Man, that's a fine fish. You should never give up. Even though the conditions we got blown and was outside, we had to come up here and hit the marsh. It's a good little cut. Usually, we, on the fall tide, you'll get some fish in here, which we're doing. We're going to try and catch a few more fish before we head home. A little mixed bag. Come on, be another big ground mud. Ooh, oh, that yeah, might yeah. be a little white trout or a speck come to the top. I had a nice white trout a minute ago, I missed. A little white. Mm hmm. Think so. Yeah, nice white trout. It's a little speck. Nope. Uh oh, uh oh. Tell you, Dave, we've had a wonderful afternoon fishing with you. Well, thank you for Excellent. coming out today. Thank you for having me. Hey, we got a great box of fish. Hey, we overcame the weather conditions this afternoon and made a decent box of fish. Made a good trip. Now let's Excellent see about this trip. ride home. <laughs> <laughs>